This Dr. Minakshi Sundaram is MBBS MD, and I'll be a mentor for the subject of microbiology on the platform called as An Academy. This video is to bring you the information that An Academy, as a team of a lot of faculty, experienced faculty, are trying to bring you a package to help you prepare for AIMS 2020 coming May. And as a part of it, we are having an MCQ pattern sessions over the next few weeks. This particular video is to help you train for assertion and reasoning based questions and I'll show you how exactly these kind of sessions will be held. I'm going to give you two such examples. Watch this here. Question 1. Mitochondria technically are not owned by eukaryotes as they are prokaryotes by themselves. This is a statement given as a whole. Now for the above given statement, please choose the right response. A says the assertion is correct, that is mitochondria technically are not owned by eukaryotes is a correct statement and the reasoning out is perfect, that is they are prokaryotes by themselves is actually a reasoning. Now look at option B, it says assertion is correct but the reasoning out is not correct. C says assertion is wrong but the reasoning is correct and D says both the assertion and the reasoning are wrong. What is the beauty of having such kind of questions? Remember. Just answering a one word answer, a fill in the blank or choosing the right option among the given four options in the form of multiple choice questions is not the norm anymore. When you read something, you have to read it so well and you read two different statements. If you're able to find out some kind of inconceivable connection between two statements and also explain how one statement depends on the other, that is a higher level of learning in the Bloom's taxonomy of learning. And it's not just recall, it is comprehension and imagination and going for the next level of learning. So how do you answer this question? Mitochondria, what are they? They are the organelles which you have been knowing since school as the powerhouse of the cell. They generate ATP. So they are telling you, technically they are not owned by eukaryotes. Give me an example of a eukaryote. Who can be a better example than a human being? So do we not own the mitochondria? The treatment is true. We do not own mitochondria. We got it by accident. So the assertion here is right now true. And how did we get by accident? Remember, there were certain kind of theories which were floating around to explain why mitochondria did not belong to human beings. There is a theory called as endosymbiotic theory. Endosymbiotic theory. This theory states that there were certain aerobic bacteria which were captured by certain kind of eukaryotic cells or prokaryotic cells and those aerobic bacteria thought it was wonderful to live inside the cells themselves. So thousands of years later or millions of years later, right now we are eukaryotic cells and mitochondria are technically the aerobic bacteria who have been living with us for the billions of years in the past. So look at the next statement here that is in the previous question. They are prokaryotes by themselves is an assertions reason and they are prokaryotes. It's a true statement. Remember mitochondria are age old replica of aerobic bacteria. So the answer that is right here is option A. Assertion is correct and the reasoning out is perfect. Now let's look at another question and see how we can be hoodwinked. Spirochetes include Triponema, Borrelia and Listeria and they all are gram variable because they have a thick peptidoglycan layer. Okay. For this statement you have to tell us whether the reasoning is actually the right reasoning for the assertion and whether the assertion is also right. For the above given statement Assertion is correct. Is it correct? Spirochetes include Triponema borrelia and it is not Listeria, it is Leptospira. So, if at all you are reading the statement in a hurry, you might miss on the statement that it is not Leptospira, it is Listeria given the question paper. So, that makes the statement or assertion absolutely wrong. So, what does it mean? I can't choose A, I can't choose B. So, assertion is wrong, I understand. What does C and D say? C says assertion is wrong but the reasoning is correct. D says both the assertion and the reasoning are wrong. What is the reasoning here? They all are gram variable because they have a thick peptidoglycan layer. No, they do not have a thick peptidoglycan layer because they are not gram positive organism and they are not having a very well built outer membrane just like a gram negative organism. So they are variable kind of structures and they don't have a proper kind of cell wall and cell membrane as it is boasted by gram positive and gram negative. So the reasoning is also wrong. That brings us to the statement that option D is the right answer. Both the assertion and the reasoning are wrong. And I have given you explanations for two such questions. And 
more and more such questions are waiting to be hitting you on the deck. And remember, I'll be teaching you these kind of sessions. My first session on reasoning and assertion will start on Tuesday, the 9th of March, between 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Catch me live on Unacademy app. Also, there are multiple faculty waiting to teach their own subjects and they're trying to sell their goods to you in the best possible manner and they'll train you very well. And one week is for reasoning and assertion and the next week will be for extended matching and so on. So let's join hands to make this a grand success and let us help you, help you better your exams in a thousand times, way better more. Have a great one.